Yo, what's up? This is Skilo, and I'm officially on blast. In a VIP, having a toast to yeah. Trying to find a real hot chick to get close to yeah. Dime piece with mouthpiece who don't cheat uh. And praise ease through good like good girls supposed to yeah. I guess when I was young, my family, I was born in Chicago You know, we lived in the projects, Robert Taylor Homes And we would have these occasional blackouts And uh, my family would all uh, get to, my family would all get together singing And uh, I used to just sit around as a kid And just listen to them harmonize different songs, oldies and um, that's when I really got interested in performing and singing. And then uh, I moved to New York years later, and I lived in uh, I lived in uh, Manhattan. I lived in Poughkeepsie, uh, New York, and um, that's why I learned hip hop. And it was like groups like Run DMC, UTFO, uh, groups like that was out at the time. And that I just absorbed the culture, and then uh, the rest was history. Yeah. First name Stacy, she ain't never chased me. Met a lot of brothers who would love to replace me. Credit cards, Macy's, we could go any day. Yeah. She the one I'm looking for. These other chicks is in the way. I got the new album, Fresh Ideas, which drops this year, 2011. And then um, we got the single, Burning Up, which is out right now. Uh, you can check that out, freshideasmusic.com, which is the website. And um, also a ton of artists that I'm releasing on my new label, Skilo Music. And uh, we just got a lot of things going on, so keep up, check us out. She want a brother who can keep his game tight, get the job done, and his money in the same night. That's and I'm me. the type of brother who know how to live life. Your man every night wanna have the same fight. That's I'm a you. rap tour, I used to Mac tour. Uh. Got a little older and got us some back tour. I don't know what it was that made me react to her. Seen her in the club and started to chat to her. Say, and I need you, she can turn it up. At the time I was in LA, and there's a, um, rap club called The Good Life. They used to do every Thursday off Crenshaw. And The Good Life was like, if you an MC on the West Coast, this would be like the, um, this this would be like the, the underground spot that all MCs went through that blew up. We had groups out of there like The Far Side, Souls of Mischief, Ahmad, um, so many MCs, uh, um, uh, so many slipped my tongue. Uh, Souls of Mischief, Freestyle Fellowship, so many great West Coast. Volume 10 came out of that club. I was also uh, one of the OGs out of that club. And every Thursday we used to, you know, we do our songs. I Wish was one of the songs that I performed at that, at that club. And I basically wrote I Wish because it was a time in my life when I wasn't feeling at my best. And I wrote that song because it, it, it made me feel better about what I was going through. And then I saw I made other people feel better. So it was just, you know, one of those, you know, beautiful things. Yeah, you know I'm liking what you do to me. Strobe light, but you're looking really cute to me. You got a girl who really ain't what it used to be. And I got a solution if you wanna make it you and me. Brown eyes looking right at you right through my glasses. Yeah. All night mixing club drinks and making passes. Yeah. Credit card use it for coasters and dump of ashes. I was talking to you, couldn't help but notice the asses. I'm just the truth, man. I just, I'm not trying to be something. I'm not, I'm not afraid to be me, you know? And I do me all day, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if any, any of my fans, they probably know best, they can tell anybody best, you know, Skilo is definitely original. I guess you got a lot to show for that. I know you're tipsy, I can tell the way you're falling back. The Marriott, yeah, I'm hoping that it come to that. The parking lot, yeah, like I'ma tell her no to that. You and your girlfriend too should come over. Y'all congregate for a minute and think it over. All right, well, besides world domination, I just want to help as many people as I can. Um, especially with this music. I, I'm around a lot of talent. I see a lot of talented artists who really deserve a chance and they don't have many outlets to get their music out so i want to make it uh i want to make it uh, easier for independent artists to do that yeah moving like a ferrari when it pass us like running from charlie you can't catch us seen enough of these honeys to freaking last us eight lifetimes be mine but don't ask us what's right with the music game i would say it's definitely an independent movement today the independent movement is is something, this is not new. Hip hop started independent. This is like, you know, many of us didn't have outlets to go to. There wasn't no boys and girls club we can go to. Wasn't no YMCA, we, we were welcome that. Um, 
hip hop gave us a way out. It gave so many people jobs. How many of us became DJs, hip hop journalists, and writers, and songwriters, and musicians, and producers, and brands uh, from hip hop? So it created a lot of jobs, helped a lot of people who really didn't have outlets to have a voice, and it created a whole culture that it connected everybody together. So, you know, I just, if nothing else, I just want to continue with that, you know, that's independence. Ain't got no love here, it's only for the day. Like Kobe Bryant, I'm a score with the fadeaway. Jumper, now yeah. I got a dumper. So yeah. thanks for the hotcakes, and here go my number. What's wrong with the game is it's, it's too many followers, you know, uh, and not always by choice. And I'll be the first to admit, you know, I know how to labels and tell them, dumb it down. And, you know, really many of these artists don't have a choice, you know, when a label can easily put you on the shelf and you not be heard at all, um, which is not cool, but it happens. So when you have situations like that, it allows a corporate body to control hip-hop music, and that's something that can't be allowed because hip-hop music is freedom. It's, a, it's, a, it's about expression, and someone on the side can't tell me how to express what God gave me. So. You know, that's what I see is wrong with it. It's just too much control, it's too much monopoly um, going on. And it's, you know, what, what happened to the strong DJ circuit? What happened to the strong MC circuit? Now it's just all rap. Everything is rap. Rhyming words without feeling or emotion doesn't mean anything specific, but it can be used to program people into buying records. And, you know, that's, that's the ugliness of the music industry I don't like. There's no freedom in the music. Well, I couldn't tell the actual story because what happens on the road stays on the road. But I can tell you the scenarios of what I've been around and what I've got to see. Um, we toured and did the radio jams with Pac and Biggie. Um, when the whole East Coast, West Coast thing went down, we were at every, every occasion, every incident that led up to all that. We got to see all that firsthand. I mean, no better what more of that was about than anybody. Um, uh, we toured with so many great artists, Snoop, uh, and there's a lot of good memories with all this, you know, the parties, um, and uh, you know, the, the, you know the, the, the time we spent on stage and just hanging out. And it was a big camaraderie with the rappers then. Back then, everybody just really, they really got along. Everybody really was networking and working with each other. Uh, now it's a little bit more territorial. You know, we in the South, and we in the East, and we in the West. But back then, it was everybody just seemed a little bit more united. And um, it was just a lot of good memories, good memories on the road with Ray J, Brandy and her family and, uh, and their family, um, their life family. And, um, and it just, it's just a lot, a lot I could, I remember, but I could never tell the story. Let's put the government on blast for all the money it spends out on all these ridiculous things that it's spending money on while people are really suffering, hurting. You know, let's put that on blast right now. We get so distracted with basketball games, video games, music and clubs, that we don't even take time to look at what's really going on in our own country, our own society, and our own government. And it's really disgusting to see the uh, unnecessary spending that goes on in this country when people are really hurting and suffering and they're not really taking care of that. Freshideasmusic.com, best way. I uploaded my official website, freshideasmusic.com. Check me out. New single, Burning Up, is on there too. It's a gift to all the fans. Been gone for a minute, so we thought we'd, we'd bring you a gift back when we return. So the first single, go check it out, Burning Up. What up? It's your boy Skilo. I'm officially on blast.